Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure things in the web version of Google Earth. This is the latest updated version of Google Earth, and measurement is slightly different than it was before. Let's go ahead and jump into Google Earth here. I'm in my web browser. As you can see, I'm signed into my account, and I want to measure an area. Now, I could measure something by clicking the measuring button up here and then just drawing a straight line all the way across, let's say the state of Wyoming, and we see it's 357.22 miles across, roughly. It's not a very accurate measurement because I haven't really zoomed in to define exactly where I'm starting and stopping. I've kind of just estimated it. Now, I'm going to close that one out and show you what happens when you zoom in more. So let's zoom way in on an area here in Wyoming. Not sure why I'm picking Wyoming, other than it's just in the middle of the country, more or less. And there's a lot of squares in it, like this one here. So there's a nice square field. And I want to measure around this square field. So let's go up here. Grab that measuring tool, and I'm going to measure all the way around the perimeter of this field. And we'll see, I measured 4.06 miles, one square mile roughly. Now, if I want to switch that out and look at it in meters or kilometers, I can do so. And you can see there, now I have it my perimeter in kilometers, and my area in kilometers. I'm going to exit out of that. Now, that's really easy to do when you're measuring things that are nice squares or rectangles. But let's say we want to measure around something that's not so easy to draw lines around. Like, let's say I want to go to Fenway Park in Boston. And so I'm going to go to Fenway Park. I want to measure around Fenway Park. I want to go right around Fenway Park and see, all right, this is a little trickier to, to measure. Let's go back up to our measuring tool. I want to measure around the edge of Fenway Park. And I can do so, again, just by clicking as I go around. Now, measuring around Fenway Park in kilometers may not be the best unit of measurement for this activity. So again, when I'm done, I can go up and change the unit of measurement so that it's a little bit more reflective of how we would actually measure here. Let's say we want to measure in miles, right? It's a perimeter of half a mile. And let's say we want to do something like in feet. How many feet all the way around? Okay, there we go. 2,600 feet all the way around the perimeter there. <clears throat> so that's another option. Now let's zoom in a little bit more and you'll notice that I'm currently in a flat 2D mode. Let's go to 3D mode. And I can still measure in 3D if I like. I can go here, click that measurement, and now I've got... Right, a little bit better sense of where to start. I want to make sure I'm in 3D mode. There we go. I've got my measuring tool and now I'm measuring around Fenway Park in 3D as opposed to just having to use that overhead view. Now, this is really handy. I'm going to say I'm done with that measurement. This is really handy if you want to measure let's say inside of the stadium. I'm gonna go back to my 3D mode. And now I wanna measure inside that stadium and really you know, see how big this area is inside the stadium, that little part of the stadium. I'm just, I've just measured and we can see the perimeter there is 178 feet. And I did that by measuring in 3D as opposed to measuring in 2D. So. That's how you can measure things in the new version of Google Earth for your web browser. 
As always, for more things like this, including many more Google Earth tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.